Okay, it's Chinese kit time. I love my Chinese kits. Uh, this one I bought off of Banggood. Uh, SKUD76713. It is a microphone with adjustable sensitivity. Working voltage, 9 volts to 15. 12 volts is recommended. We'll use 12 volts. Working current above 100 milliamps. Above. Wow. More than 100 milliamps. That's amazing. Okay. 20 to 20. Uh, monitoring range. Monitoring range. 100 square meters. What's that all about? Monitoring range. I guess I can hear people or something over 100 square meters. Uh, 15 grams. Um, it has a low noise processing chip. We'll, we'll have to look to see what the processing chip is. Plus a diaphragm capacitor microphone. Uh, there it is, a little bit of electric. Um, combined into a power amplifier that can be connected to audio input. Hmm. Can directly monitor the subtle sound of the scene. Equipped with a trimming resistor, which can adjust the sensitivity. Can be used in factories, banks, schools, trains, and other production facilities that need to be monitored. Hmm. So it's an eavesdropping tool, I guess. It can be used as an auxiliary equipment, such as a monitoring and synchronous recording. Synchronous recording. I don't know how you do that. It can also be used as a megaphone with a power amplifier. Cool. Connecting two modules can be used as an intercom system. Ooh. Tips when the signal is too strong or the pickup this and the speaker are too close together, self-excitation feedback may occur. Turn it down. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Hey, let's pull it. Or let's see what it looks like. Uh, where's my tray? Oh no, my tray is busy. Uh, let me clean off my tray. I need my tray. Oh gosh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the video. Uh, there we go. Let's get it out onto a tray. Yep, one slot. There we go. So what did we get? A power, a board, single-sided. Uh, looks like FR4 though. Oh, here is our, what do they call it? Low noise processing chip. Let's see what that is. Uh, where's my magnifying glass? I cannot see. The low noise processing chip is a Texas Instrument 5532. That's a good audio amplifier. I don't know if I'd call it a processing chip, but it's a nice little op amp. Okay, and we got some capacitors, some resistors. It's socketed, very nice. Okay, uh, let's start to build it.
Okay, it's all together. Uh, okay, went together real easy. Everything's marked. And um, uh, dual, dual cable, that's kind of cool. So let's see, 12 volts, so we will we will hook up 12 volts here. And see what it does. It has the LED, the LED came on. I think the LED is just power. So uh, nothing to do with the uh, audio signal, but with the audio signal through the oscilloscope. Let's see, oscilloscope, we will hook up to the other wire here, and see if it is, see if it is seeing anything. Hello? So, what does the scope say? Scope says too high. Hello, test, test, test. Hello, testing. Test, test, test. I don't see anything. Let's adjust the uh, let's adjust the potentiometer. Test, test, test. Test. Oh, there we go. Hello. Test, test, test. Go the other way. Test, test, test. Nothing. Test, test, test. It's supposed to be a hundred. What is it? Hundred square meters. Hello. Test, test, test. Uh, it's not capacitively coupled. So let's do that here. Uh, channel one. We will AC couple. Hello, test. There we go. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Hello, test. Hello, test. Well, it does work. Hello, testing. Hello, test, test, test. This is a test. Hello. Test, test, test. Uh, looks like it might be noisy. Hmm. I don't know. Hello, testing. Whoa, too big. Anyway, seems to work. Seems to be a, a uh, amplified microphone. So, what do I think about the kit? Uh, it's real easy to put together. I think it's a great beginner's kit. It does something. Uh, it doesn't do anything by itself, though, so you need to have um, an oscilloscope or run this into a speaker or something. Uh, in fact, we could do that, but... And we will hook up a couple clip leads. And we will hook them over here. I think they go here. There's some hum. Hello, testing. Oh, yeah. Hello, test, test, test. Hello, testing, one, two, three. Well, hello, let's see. Test, 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 test. Hello, is that? Hello, hello, hello. No, that's the other way. Hello, that's maximum gain there. Maximum gain. Oh well. It does work. Uh, I'm not sure if it, uh, if it's megaphone quality. Hello? No, probably not. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it does work. It sounds good. I mean, you know, for what it is, for $2. It was uh, $2.34. So, okay, so what's my review of the kit? Um, it's great. Uh, easy to build. Great first builder's kit. Uh, I don't think you can go too far wrong with this one. Uh, let me turn off the uh, thing over there so we don't echo. Um, the only problem with the kit is once you get it built, you have to have something to plug it onto. So if you don't know how to plug it onto something and amplify it, you know, that's not very much fun. Um, if you have an oscilloscope, then that could be fun. Um, otherwise, uh, it just kind of sits there and the LED turns on. <laughs> but uh, definitely recommended, especially for the price.